How's it going everyone? Maryland here, and I'm back with another box opening. That's right, what are we gonna open today? Oops. It is a box of the newest set, Black and White Plasma Freeze. Ooh, sweet. So, um, a lot of people were asking about these boxes. You know, what are they? Uh, how do you get them? How much do they cost? Generally, they're about 90 bucks or so if you get them, um, like on eBay or something. Sometimes card shops will cut you a deal, too. And you don't have to pay shipping if you get them in person. But, if you try to buy all the packs individually, you're gonna end up with a worse deal. So, going somewhere like Walmart or whatnot, probably not the best bet if you're looking for a good value. If you're, you know, trying to get single packs at a time. That's why getting the box as a whole is a good idea if you can afford it. Um, you get a better bang for your buck, really. So inside of here, there are 36 booster packs of Black and White Plasma Freeze. So, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Oh yeah. Alright, so, I'm gonna kinda do like I did last time. I'm gonna put one half of this, see if I can do this. Put it over there, just for a moment. All right, we're just gonna set that thing off to the side. Put that there. Put that there. Cool. And I even have some sleeves over on the side, card sleeves, very good for, you know, just keeping your card protected. Ideally, if I get something really good, I'll put it in something better, but that's just a good way to, you know, kind of get started. Anyway. Enough talking already, jeez. Let's go ahead and open these things up. All right, so I'm gonna start with the right half. I don't know why, I seem to like doing that. Okay, so, what do we have inside? Now, there is one thing called the pack trick. I know some people know of it, and where basically you would open up the pack and then you move to the back, rearrange things, and then your rare and stuff is on the back. I personally don't like doing that. It's just a preference thing. In fact, there are very few things I am OCD about in the world, and for some reason that drives me crazy. So I'm not gonna do that. I like to open them up just like normal. Anyway, there's an Eevee. I know, Eevee is in the set. Vanillite, cool. Horsey, nice, nice. Trico! Trico! <laughs> That's some cool artwork of Trico. Look at that. Pretty neat. Grimer! It's got lure poison. You have to flip for it though. What's that all about? Ponyard. Ooh, reverse foil. Can you see that? Yeah! And Kingdra! Ooh, this is kind of interesting. Stage 2, so it's a little difficult to get out, but at least it only needs one energy for its attacks. Um, Dragon Vortex does 20 times the number of water and lightning energy cards in your discard pile, and then you shuffle all those cards back into your deck. I guess you could theoretically put this in Blastoise, but, eh, it's a lot to add to it. It doesn't really need another Stage 2 line. And then it has Tri Bullet, which hits three things for 30, so that's pretty strong. And it's a Dragon type, so that's pretty cool. Jolteon! Jolt! Uh, yeah, it's actually kind of decent. If the defending Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, that Pokemon can attack during your opponent's next turn. That's its second attack, Electra Diffuse. Uh, you know, it doesn't hit for a lot, but that's still kind of okay. Most of the time, they'll just switch out around it, though. Onyx. And a neat arena. Cool. All right, first pack down. Oops, broke the camera, I think. Time for pack number two, which is probably the last pack before I end up losing count. <laughs> oh man, so, I know a lot of people have been asking about the Platinum Nuzlocke. Well, I've got some good news for you. I am going to be releasing it next week. I know, you heard it right, you heard it here. Next week. Um. I mean, if you're watching this, like, way in the future, it might already be out. Ooh, Primate! Look, it's Peach! Uh, 80 damage minus 10 for each damage counter on it. Eh. Kind of underwhelming, really. 
Yeah, but I'm going to be doing that. Oh, <laughs> got foil Jolteon, huh? Reverse foil one. Muck. Eh. Bisharp. Ooh, Floatstone. That's actually a really good new item card. Um, the Pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost. This works really well on Keldeo EX, which has an ability that lets it switch out for your active Pokemon. Um, since it's an ability, you can use that every turn. And if this is equipped, it doesn't even have its two retreat costs, so you get a free switch through anything every turn. Very nice. And Darpitoad. I mean Palpitoad. Yep. Um, but yeah, so Nuzlocke is going to be coming really darn soon. I've been doing the editing right now. There should be some kind of cool trailer or teaser thing for it, which I'll have up uh, either early next week, probably early next week, before we kick things off. And it'll kind of explain things. But yeah, just thought I'd give you an update on that. As for Mystery Dungeon... I don't know, there's all this post-game stuff, or like the post-post-game stuff, and it's just kind of like, eh. Oh, nice! A foil floatstone! That's actually really cool. I like foil trainers and stuff. You can use them in your decks and they look cool. Executor! Um, yeah, it has blockade. Your opponent can't play any supporter cards from his or her hand during his or her next turn. The only problem is it only does 10 damage. What? What? Oh well. Team Plasma Badge. This attaches to one of your Pokemon. It's a uh, tool card. And it turns it into a Team Plasma Pokemon. So other card effects can work with it. <laughs> Look at that Krakorok just kind of chilling there. And Execute. This Execute is really funny. Its ability, Propagation, once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put this Pokemon into your hand. So you get it back from your discard pile. You can keep discarding it and getting it back. Although only once per turn. It's useful with, uh, there's a Weavile in this set that works rather well with that. But yeah, I don't know what I want to do with Gates to Infinity. I'll probably do one or two other things, but it's just sort of at a sit, uh, standstill. I've been editing the Platinum vi video, and I've been editing the White 2 video that I keep talking about. Um, so I think I've yapped on long enough about things unrelated to this video. Ooh, Team Plasma Ball Foil. Search your deck for a Team Plasma Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. It's Getsus! Yeah, it's a Foil Trainer. Look at that. Foil Rare. Uh, your opponent reveals his or her hand and shuffles all item cards found there into his or her deck. Then, Draw a number of cards equal to the number of item cards your opponent shuffled into his or her deck. Um, not too bad, but I've heard it's not really as great as it sounds. Frozen City adds some damage. It's a stadium card. Kind of leave it there, and then it'll just kind of keep adding um, damage to any non-plasma Pokemon. It's not that bad, but yeah. Okay, let's see. I'm feeling good about this pack. What do you think? We got Trico. Whooper. Voltorb. Pachirisu. Tino. And a Foil Chincho. Hmm. And a Seismitoad. Now let me tell you, this thing, this thing is what made it happen in um, the Madison pre-release. That Seismic Punch does 30 damage plus 30 damage to each bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's. So it hits everything, and it's just crazy. It's not really that great of a card, but I found it fun to use in the pre-release. Oh, Flareon! Awesome! I love Flareon. It's my favorite evolution. Does 10 damage more for each Pokemon in your discard pile. That's okay. Probably not worth it, but... Dragonair. And another Palpitoad. All right, now that you've started to see some of these cards, you can probably start going through them a little faster. Nothing too good just yet. The Getsus is cool, though. All right, Grimer. Yamask. Timple. Beldum. Voltorb. Ooh, Foiled Kecleon. I love this Kecleon. It's really cool, plus it's a great Mewtwo counter. Um, yeah. 
Just take my word for it. You choose one of the defending Pokemon's attacks. If it has the necessary energy to use that attack, you use it as this attack, which is great. Plus, color change changes its type to your opponent's active. So this is a good counter for, like, dragons, for Mewtwo. Oh, and then this thing's kind of nice against Darkrai and Curum and other things. It prevents all damage done to your bench Pokemon by attacks. It's an ability and it's constant. So sit this on your bench. They're going to have to catch it out in order to uh, hit your bench for damage. If only it stopped Catcher though. Ooh, Espeon, a Shadow Ball. Does 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Also apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. That doesn't usually happen. Another Floatstone. My goodness, I've had three Floatstones so far. I've only opened a few packs. That's amazing. It's a really good trainer card. Alright, let's see. Primate. That's a common? Seriously? It's so weird. Eevee. A oh, foil Eevee. Now this is the good Eevee. It has signs of evolution. Search your deck for three Pokemon of different types that evolved from Eevee. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. Unfortunately, you can't get... Whoa. Chill Max. Flip a coin for each energy attached to this Pokemon. This, damage, or this attack does 60 damage times the number of heads. That's pretty chill axe. That's not that good, though. Another Team Plasma patch. Mawile. It has Big Old Bite. Look at that. That's its name for the attack. Big Old Bite. That's just silly. Um. Oh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the Eevee. You can't get both... Um, what is it? Vaporeon and Glaceon because they're both considered water types in the trading card game. Since there's only like, uh, I think it's 10 types now, some of the types are merged. And I did explain this in the last video. I forgot about flying, which is merged with colorless. And, ooh, I see something. It looks like a, an A spec. Sometimes tell by the borders of the cards. Dun, 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 dun. Also, the fact it says A spec. What is it? Life do. That's kind of neat. It's a uh, limit one A spec per deck, essentially. So you can only choose one A spec total, and you can only have one in your deck. But it's usually pretty powerful. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out, your opponent takes one fewer prize card. What? Yeah, you're basically just taking away a prize card from your opponent with that. Um, Quagsire. There's a Vaporeon. It has Gold Breaker. It does 80 if the defending Pokemon is a uh, EX. Other than that, it's not that great. And more eggs. And an Arena. Cool. Well, it got an A spec. That's kind of neat. Not the greatest in the world, but I'm trying to get all the cards. So I'm going to want it eventually. All right. Oh, I see the border is something. Grimer, Nidoran, female. Timpole, Dino. Looks like an EX. Oh, I finally pull an EX, right? <laughs> no, this is Latias EX, and it's pretty good, actually. It has an ability, Bright Down. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage, done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon with abilities. So that means things like Darkrai EX, Keldeo EX, Blastoise. Um, oh, what else? Like, a whole ton of things. They can't even damage this. And then it has Barrier Break for 70, which is kind of underwhelming. Its damage isn't affected by weakness, resistance, or any other effects on the defending Pokemon. So, eh. But that Bright Down's really nice. Cool. Well, got my first EX in the box so far. Feeling good about that. I think... Oh, wow, I just handled that card terribly. I was trying to land it flat here. Oh, well. I think I traded for one of these, so... This isn't my first. Maybe it won't be my last. All right. Now, the good cards in here are Deoxys EX and Thunderous EX. Those are the ones everyone's hyping. All right, we got Chincho, Weedle, Ponyard... Makuhita. Whooper. Oh, Staraptor. Now, it's a pain to get set up. I mean, chances are you're not going to be able to do that. But if you can, for four colorless, your opponent shuffles the defending Pokemon and 
all cards attached to it into his or her deck. It just wrecks things. You don't get prizes for it, but, you know, it can really be disruptive. Thankfully, you don't have to worry about how many hit points they have. It's not that great, but it's kind of fun. Wait, did I open it from the other side? I wasn't paying attention. I don't think I did. I might have derped, though. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. What the heck? Is that another ace spec? Huh, that's so weird. I wonder what it is. Oh, yeah, I love the art of that Rattata. Definitely in the top percentage of Rattata art. Rat guard! Oh, yeah, I pulled one of these earlier. Um, it's another one of those ace specs. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack, put six damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So it really hurts them if they try to hit you. Beedrill. Huh. Another Jolteon and Nidorina. And Arnix. Well, got some ace specs. Pretty cool. Rattata. Sandile, Yamas, Litwick, Primeape, Weedle. Ooh, Chandelure. This thing's kind of neat. It's reminiscent of the old Gardevoir, if you remember that thing from Ruby and Sapphire. Flare Navigate is its ability. You search your deck for a fire energy card and attach it to one of your Pokemon. If you do, put one damage counter on that Pokemon. Not too bad. The only problem is it's a stage two, so it's kind of difficult to get out, and that damage can hurt. But, you know, if you can do it, it's kind of nice. Shadow Triad. Put a Team Plasma card from your discard pile into your hand. Eh. It's okay. Oh, here you go. Have a free code. Someone watching. Woo! Yeah, you can just type this in on Pokemon.com slash TCGO and it unlocks a Plasma Freeze booster pack online. Those are pretty neat, actually. I need to kind of get into the game myself. That's why I've been hoarding all of these codes. But I guess I'll give you that one. Now remember, these codes are single use. So only the first person who enters that code gets a chance to uh, unlock the thing. And I'll tell you right now, I'm not using it. So feel free to go ahead and try. But by the time you enter it, someone might have already done so. All right. Come on, pick up the pace, Maryland. Ooh, Hariyama. Wow, that thing is pretty darn bad. Leafeon, ooh, does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. That is really good against Blastoise Keldeo. Whoa, they love to dance energy all over the place. Make it rain energy. Oh yeah, and this thing, I think we've already seen that one. All right, cool. I need to get a Glaceon and an Umbreon, I think. And Sylveon, of course. Alright, Sandile, Yamask, Litwick, Primate, Chincho, Foil Voltorb, and a normal Kecleon, a non foil one. Cool. Very cool there. Cool Pokemon to have. Alright. Almost done with the first half of the box. Sandile. ran Mail. Makuhita. Dino. Yamask. Ooh, Sceptile. This looks cool. It's not all that great, though. Heal 20 damage from each of your Pokemon that has any energy attached to it. Mm. Sounds good, but it's just such a hassle getting it out. It's not like it really is that great doing things. Oh, well, uh, that's one of the things I don't like about the Pokemon trading card game, is it seems like there are just so many cards that just aren't worth it. In fact, the better majority of cards printed aren't worth it. Which is a shame. Oh, well. Ooh, a foil, reverse foil, Kofa Grigus. Yeah, you can knock this Pokemon out anytime you want during your turn with its ability. And then if you do, you put three damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. Plus, it has the Slap of Misfortune. Whenever your opponent flips a coin during his or her next turn, treat it as tails. That's so cool! I mean, it wouldn't really do anything against me because I always flip tails anyway, so... Oh, there's that Glaceon. 
Retreat cost of each of your Team Plasma Pokemon in play is two colorless less. So it has free retreat, thanks to that. That's pretty neat. Kind of lackluster attack, but still useful for helping you out. Then there's that Plasma Energy. It doesn't do anything on its own other than provide colorless energy. So anything that is not requiring a certain type can use it. But it provides additional effects for certain attacks or certain things. Alright, we got your teeny. Whooper! Whooper! Oh, Sneasel. I love Sneasel. It's a really cool Pokemon. Lampant. And Nino Queen. Look at that. Uh, not all that great, really. But there is something that can be done with it. Oh, no, this is a nice card Superior Energy Retrieval. Discard two cards from your hand. Put four basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand, other than the ones that you discarded, if they were energy. Very nice card um, for getting energy back. In fact, I think it's probably better than better in a Blastoise Keldeo. I don't play that deck really, but I would imagine it's like so great because you need as much stuff as you can to get the energy back when you lose a Keldeo. Foil Starly and a Zekrom! Whoa! Um, 130 hit points. It has Fusion Bolt. If Reshiram is on your bench, this attack does 40 more damage. It takes 4 energy, though. Although only 1 Lightning, so that's kind of nice. Makes it somewhat splashable, as we call it. Yeah, unfortunately it's not a Team Plasma Pokemon, so you can't get it out really quick. And, uh, you can't do all this extra stuff. Alright, halfway through the box. I assure you this next half will go much quicker. So... Let's go through it! Yeah! Rip it open. So far we pulled one EX, two A specs. Oh, it looks like a third A spec. What the heck? That's so weird. Another life do. That's strange. Hmm. Alright. I think we've seen everything else in there. My apologies if not. Beldum. Go. Niran, Cacnea, Hoot Hoot, Eevee, Foil Cacnea, and another Nido Queen. Well, that's just Nido. Alright. Now. Dun da da da. Cacnea. Starly. Yamask, Gratita, Grimer, Quagsire, and Weavile. Nice, there's that Weavile I was telling you about. Its first attack is mm, kind of okay. It does 10 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. But then its second attack, Vilify. Discard as many Pokemon as you like from your hand. It does 30 damage times the number of Pokemon you discarded. So you play that with Execute, and you get to keep getting it back from the discard pile over and over. Basically... Weavile just throws eggs at the opponent all day. It's kind of funny. It's not super strong, but it's a fun little deck. You can always try it out. Really cheap to build, too. That's the good news. Alright, Staravia and Hariyama. Ooh, underwhelming. Well, it was off to a strong start, but... So far, we've only had that one EX. Not looking too good. Mankey. Dino and a Crocodile. Pretty bad, really. It's actually really bad for a stage two. What were they thinking? All right. Feeling good about this one. Something good's got to be in here, right? Maybe? Radita? Steelix and Kecleon. Ugh. I can use some Kecleons, but... <laughs> Let's see. Looks like we have about... 12 packs left. So maybe our luck will turn around. My luck, really. <laughs> I say our because we're doing this together, you know? Sort of a group effort. 
Electrode. Love the art on this. Um, once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have four in your hand. Kind of hard to pull off. But it's kind of neat at the same time. Another float stone. At least I've gotten a lot of those. Alright. Come on, something. Please. This is like the most underwhelming box I have opened so far. And I mean, I've opened a lot of boxes. I've just only done one previous box opening video. Because I figure, hey, you know what? Get you guys in on it. Oh, foil Metagross. Kind of neat. That's the pre release card. Wow, so bad. Star after. Really? Really? Alright, well. Getting towards the end here. Statistically, we should be almost guaranteed something. That's the only bit of reassurance I have for you right now. Foil Dratini and ooh, there we go. Finally something. A full art gets us. Look at that. Remember that gets us trainer I got? Well, they make full art versions of these cards. And they look really cool. They have a neat texture on them. Um, yeah, that's what I got here. Not the greatest full art in the world, but it still looks really cool. Very sweet. All right, let me put that right there for a moment. This thing deserves to be in a sleeve. I usually only get one full art per box. Oops, bump the camera. My bad. Uh, so, I mean, it could have been like Heat Ran or Latios or something, but. Chandelure again? Cool. Save a lie. So bad. Wow, that card is terrible. There's only one Sableye you should ever be playing, and that's the Dark Type one. That one is so good. You play that in Dark Eye. It's basically all you play it with. Although well, nowadays they're adding a bunch of stuff. There's this Absol card. I pulled a million of those at the pre releases. I haven't seen one yet, though. Huh. Another Mr. Mime. Well, looks like we got five packs left. Do, 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 do. What do we got? Patrisu and an Eevee and another Kingdra. That's so weird. I'm getting all these duplicates. Why? Why? Why is this happening to me? Alright, there's gotta be something great in here. Don't you just feel it? Look at this Weedle. It's so weird, it's string shot is freezing. Foil Vaporeon and... Oh, Cofagrigus. What the heck? What the heck? Alright. We're getting towards the end. Crackerock and oh my goodness, so bad. Although we haven't yet opened one of these on camera. What does it do? Love Strike. Two colorless, it does 20 plus 40 more for each Nido Queen on your bench. Yeah, I know it sounds kind of cool, but it really isn't. Alright, three packs remain. Dun, da, da, da. Well, I see something, so that's at least somewhat reassuring. Dino, the light, and it's a Tornado CX. Ooh, cool. Kind of neat. Its first attack is great. Windfall. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw six cards. There's not a lot of things that let you do that at this point in a Pokemon trading card game history. So that's kind of useful. And then its second attack does 30 damage for each, or 30 more damage for each plasma energy attached to this Pokemon. Only 60 by default, though. Eh, 
That's okay. Set it right there for now. Take a look at the other. Oh, here, have a code. Feeling generous. There we go. All right. Um, let's probably put that other code aside. I think I left it in the pile. Whoops. All right. Well, looks like it started turning around a little bit. Here I was worried it would be a bad box. But we ended up getting three EX slash full art things. Which isn't great, but it's not terrible. And we also got three Ace Specs. Zero shiny Pokemon, though. These do not count as a shiny Pokemon. Those are like the reverse foils. Reverse hollows, some people call them. Where's Zekrom? All right, well, we're finally at the end. The final pack. Let's open this thing up. And dun da da da. Cacturn and Hydreigon. It has a tractor beam. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty bad card, though. Yeah. Oh, well, there are so many better Hydreigons out there. Well, that's it. So, exciting cards that we have pulled. I've pulled. Got these three, which are the Tornado CX we just pulled. The Full Art Gets Us. That's the star of the show here. And then Latias EX. And then I also got those three A specs that I didn't even put in sleeves. They're just in the pile somewhere. Yeah, so, hope you enjoyed that. And, uh, yeah, feel free to let me know in the comments what you thought. And also, if you think I should do another box opening video, because I'm probably going to want more trading bait. Probably going to want more, uh more cards for my collection. So I might even open up another box of Plasma Freeze. Might do it on my own spare time, I don't know. But as always, I like to hear in the comments and stuff if that's something you'd be interested in. So I will see you next time, everyone.